the biggest gratification I get from my job is seeing what it does for people, including my family, um, specifically like my mother who has um, like severe carpal tunnel and tendinitis, arthritis. After my mom had success with it, she was like, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. She started sending me her coworkers, she started sending me different family members and um, just seeing what it does for people, how it opens people's eyes, it gives them hope, um, and seeing what it does to their quality of life. When I hear stories like that, that's just like this is what I'm. This is what I'm meant to do. I was diagnosed with arthritis in 2009, 2010. Um, and I just have been, in, I'm in pain every day. I also have spinal stenosis, and I also have bipolar disorder, and I have a spinal cord injury because I fell off of a bicycle. So I have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. The best thing that has helped me during all of this, and I've told my doctors, is the CBD. And they told me, yeah, if it works for you, and just stick with it. CBD has changed my life for the better. I'm a happier person. Um, less depressed and I'm thankful. The reason why I think I started wasn't because I was ready to jump in because there was still a lot about CBD I didn't know and so that's where obviously CBD comes in because Renata um, was you could buy, you could get, like, have, make appointments and have a consultation with her. And one of the things that she helped me do was start using CBD products, like which ones to use, which ones do what. So she taught me some of the things that were going on in my body that might be making me feel sick. And they were things I would never have thought of. So like CBD didn't help me find upstate CBD. Upstate CBD helped me find CBD. People have the stigma of, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's the devil lettuce that's going to get you high, this, that, and the other thing. Really take a step back and do your research on CBD, and I, and, I, and I want people to reach out to us because we really want to educate the public about CBD because it's something where you can't overdose on it. Um, you, you don't get any negative side effects so far. Um, they've done research since, you know, probably before the 60s on the plant, and still nothing's been found. Uh, but you look across the board, but you get pharmaceutical drugs that are just being popped out there and you don't think twice because the doctor says it's okay. For everyone that wants to try CBD, it's really positive for your body. It's great. Our bodies have endocannabinoid systems already in it. So I don't know if that's just God doing his work, <laughs> you know, connecting us with the plant. But uh, it's really cool that we have that system in our body. So our body is receptive to any cannabinoid, really. We, as a CBD industry, have employed so many people on the farm end on the sales end and in the storefront end. You know, I'm sitting in Upstate CBD and it's such a great thing because you can walk into the store, you can talk to someone that is very well versed in this and you get an entire experience. So it's basically like going to a doctor, but you know, it's the safest, most cleanest and organic way to try to treat symptoms in the body.